Arsenal Fan TV, I'm um, not good today. Uh, I had some Stoke fans telling me before the game that we were going to lose. They were well up for it, their fans. Their players were well up for it. And in the first half, our, our players were not up for it. Well, well that's it, isn't it? There, but the thing is, there is a problem <coughs> at this club, right? You've got, you've got two sides of Arsenal fans. You've got Wenger in and you've got the Wenger out. And like, like you could see like from like the attitude of the players yeah. like oh, there's just no commitment in this team like three nil down at half time to stoke uh -huh. to stoke i mean but is it not commitment is it not commitment that in the second half they came out they fought but we had three two there was actually when, when we scored that second goal there was actually about 15 minutes left yeah, know, so a yeah, yeah. lot of time to even pull it back they did sh you've got to say they showed a bit of fight in that second half yeah, that's all we say yeah, though, yeah, yeah exactly it's but it's a little bit of fire mm -hmm. right at three nil down it could have been so much worse so i mean three nil down to stoke and their fans are taking the piss out of us who who the hell are stoke that's they're right. taking the piss out of us like it's so it's so demoralizing just to come mm. here season after season and and you just know what's going to happen you know how they play mm. right i mean and this man behind you i can hear you as well your frustration what's i mean you, you're frustrated as well every time um arsenal play up north they get sucked honestly like <laughs> so it's a north thing honestly like, every, every time we come to watch them um because obviously we live in manchester yeah we just literally just get laid off just lay down all the time it's just really disappointing there's a lot of guys like chamberlain he's like he's the reason why um chambers got sent off he hesitated he stood back and hesitated when there was a perfect header there and that caused chambers to react like that but, to obviously try and make up make up ground and that's but, why he got a yellow, another yellow yeah card. but also right we're three 0 down, okay, right? Three 0 down, half time, right? But you've got Mark Hughes standing on the touchline, shouting at his players, doing everything. Arson, Arson Wenger, the said, whole game, the whole game, sat on his chair, I like, said, like how? I don't mean anything. It's, it's, it, it's the it players. Does, it does. I don't, players, I don't think so. If, it does. So you I think? Listen, where we sit down or not? I don't think. Is it the manager or is it the players? Manager or players? It's the manager. You think it's the manager? What do you think? I think it's down to the manager. I think it's down because to the manager. The because manager. the thing is, right, why would you want to play for a manager who just sits there? He's shown, no, no, he's no, shown, no. he's shown no passion today. You Mark Hughes was shouting, he was commanding all his players. Not, I don't think, yeah. Wenger only shouts when he's pissed off. I don't think that's Wenger's style to be, you know, stood on the touchline, shouting, giving orders. That, that's yeah, not his no, style. When we win, we don't complain. Can, when we yeah. win, when he sat down, no, no one's complaining. Even, yeah, I know. So where are you stand in this whole in-out thing? With where are you at? I, 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 you know, I sort of agree with what the person said before when he said that, you know, let's see what he does in January because this well, year he let us down. He, did, he didn't buy a centre back which, when he sold Van Malen. That, that screwed us pretty much. Mm. And we're playing Monreal centre back. Embarrassing. Do you know what I mean? We're playing these rookies. We've got a rookie keeper at the minute. I understand there's been injuries, but we're just playing too many rookies, especially against these big teams. Mm. Every time we come up north. You know, they've got these strong, powerful players. Warbeck should have started because they've got a stiff the centre back. Softies, yeah, yeah they've got a stiff the centre back. <laughs> if Warbeck was playing, he makes those runs behind, mm. the, behind, the, behind, the, mm. behind the defenders like Warbeck would. I mean, mm. sorry, like Walcott does. Mm. Do you know in, what I mean? In or out for you? Like, out, out, like, oh, I just... It's not as good. It's, it's, it's got to be out. out. It's, it's got to be out, out man. It, like, like, every year, people say, oh, let's wait until January. It's That's every year. Uh -huh. Every Last year, last year, we would have pissed this league had he bought a striker. No striker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No striker. We came fourth. Okay, we won the FA Cup, but it's sort of papered over the cracks in the season. 6-0 right. Chelsea, 5-1 Anfield, uh -huh. like... Well it's, well it's time's up, I'm afraid. Looking for a gift this Christmas? Then check out AFTVstore.com for all the latest t-shirts, hoodies, no matter what you want, scarves, hats, it's all there. You can get stuff like this, the Sanchez t-shirt that's been flying out. Or maybe you want to get this, Arsenal Rocks. Listen, any present you want, unique present for a gooner, check out AFTVstore.com. Merry Christmas from Arsenal Fan TV.